Okay. How are you feeling? You nervous? Nervous is not even the word. I'm like shaking. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. I know my dad can be a little intimidating, but just be yourself and I am sure he will like you. I hope you're right. Just your dad is the CEO of a major company. He's a billionaire. I'm just a broke college kid living in my car. My best outfit is from Goodwill. I well, all of that may be true, but it doesn't change the fact that I love you. Plus, I love this outfit. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, man. You look really handsome. You should definitely wear this Goodwill outfit more often. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's go. We're here. Wow, you look beautiful. How are you? Thanks, Dad. I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, never better. Uh, this is Mike, my boyfriend. So this must be the infamous Mike that I've heard so little about. How you doing, sir? Your daughter has told me a lot of great things about you. It's nice to finally meet you. What's that smell? Is that you, Mike? What do you mean? That smell, what is that? It smells like ancient grandma clothes. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, that, that might be me. Well, of course it's you. Who else would it be? Wear some cologne next time. Okay, Dad, that's enough. Um, uh, let's go sit down and we can all talk about what I've been up to. I want to hear all about what you've been up to, sweetie. But first, I want to learn about Mike. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Mike, are you going to school? Have you graduated? Well, I actually... Look at me when you're talking to me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't apologize. Just continue. Um, well, I actually just got accepted into school. I'm trying to get a job in the medical field. Oh, medical school. <laughs> Gonna be a doctor, huh? Well, not exactly. I, um, trying to become a nurse. Not a lot of men in that field, is there? That's more of a woman's job, isn't it? Dad, please, be respectful. I am being respectful. Part of being respectful is being honest. And I'm just stating facts here. Well, the fact is, both men and women can be nurses. It's not just a woman's field. Okay, if you say so. So, uh, Mike, what are you doing for work right now? Well, as of now, I'm uh, delivering pizza to help pay for school. You can pay your bills with that? Um, well, right now, I don't have too many bills. What do you mean you don't have too many bills? Everybody has bills. Well, right now, I'm staying in my car to help save for school. Wow. You're homeless. Not exactly. I have a roof over my head. The roof of a car. That's homeless. Dad. I'm just stating the obvious here. There's no point in sugarcoating it. If you don't have a house, you're homeless. Can I talk to you in private, please? Anything you have to say to me, you can say to me here. Dad. Room. Now. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Why are you being so rude? How am I being rude? You're humiliating my boyfriend! He may not know when you're mocking him, but I can tell. I wouldn't have to humiliate him if he wasn't such a pathetic loser! Oh! My God! See, this is exactly why I didn't want you to meet him. All you ever do is judge. Honey, I'm not judging. I'm just looking out for you. Your compassion for this kid is clouding your judgment. What are you talking about? That kid is a wonderful human being. And if you could stop being so judgmental and get to know him, you could see that too. You could be dating someone so much more wealthy than that. You're the daughter of a millionaire for crying out loud. I'm the CEO of a big company. I don't want to date someone else. So you don't want to be happy? I am happy. He makes me happy. The guy can't even pay for affordable housing. How in the world is he going to make you happy? You know what? 
There is no point in talking about this. Clearly, you don't get it. I'm done. I'm leaving. Come on, Mike. We're leaving. Babe, wait. <laughs> Babe, talk to me, please. What happened? You know what happened. Don't act like you didn't hear. All my dad cares about is money and status. Is that what you care about? Obviously not. Well, that's okay. That's all that matters. Your dad has his viewpoints on me, and I'm okay with that. One day, I'm gonna prove him wrong. But until then, all I need is your love and trust. No, but... You trust me? Yes. That's all that matters, then. I just... I wanted him to get to know you. No, babe. I know. Mike continues to push forward and eventually gets a better paying job. Nancy continues to try to work on her relationship with her father, but he still doesn't approve of Mike. Despite not approving of their relationship though, her dad decides to invite Nancy for some coffee. Hey dad! Hey baby! <laughs> it's great to see you! Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Uh, you know, I've never been happier. Oh, that's great. Glad to hear it. So, um, what are we getting? Oh, I already ordered. Oh, is that what these cups are? Yeah, I'm sure enough. I got your favorite, caramel macchiato with two shots of espresso, right? <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. There are three cups here. <laughs> Did you order something extra, or...? Oh, no, no, no. We, we, we've got somebody else joining us. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, I invited uh, Will from the office. Super successful, and he thinks you're beautiful. <laughs> Wait, what? what is this? What are you trying to do here? Oh, I just thought it'd be nice for you to make some new friends, that's all. Some new friends? Are you sure you weren't trying to set me up on a blind date? What? No, of course not. Yeah, right. I can tell when you're lying. Look, Nancy, I just thought it would be good for you to meet somebody that I thought was good for you. And once you get to meet him and get to know him, you'll see what a fantastic guy he is and that he can take care of you. I don't need to be taken care of. I, I'm out of here. Honey, wait. Would you please hold on? No, Dad. Will is more of a man than your broke, pathetic boyfriend will ever be. I don't care about any of that. I don't care about money or status. I care about being happy. Will can make you happy. I am already happy. Why can't you see that? No, you're not. Your judgment is clouded. Can you please just come back inside and get to know Will? Yeah, like you got to know Mike. Come on, sweetie. No, Dad, no. You hated Mike before you even met him. And unlike you, I am not rude to people. So I would rather not. You're leaving me no choice. I didn't want to do this, but unless you drop Mike and start dating Will, I'm cutting you off of everything. No more little credit cards, car, even your inheritance. You hear me? Wow. I am really disappointed in you, Dad. I just want what's best for you. Yeah, well, love it or hate it, I'm staying with Mike. Hand over my credit card and keys then. Gladly. Wait, where are you going? To be with the person that makes me happy. You did what? I told you, I got in a fight with my dad and I chose you. I know, but I don't think that was the smartest way to go about it. You need to go back and make things right with him. Mike, please don't. Look, all I know is, if this is going to keep causing problems between you and your dad, I don't think it's even best we even be together. You are only saying that because you think you know what's best for me. All I know is you need to go back and make things right with your dad. 
You asked me to trust you, and I said I did. Now I need you to trust me. But do you really think this is the smartest way to go about it? Maybe not, but it's the only way. Honey! Dad? How did you find me? Does it matter? Look, I overreacted, okay? Will you please come home? My mind is made up. Nothing you say is gonna change that. Take your belongings back. I'll even increase your allowance. But just please, don't do this. Come home, baby. Hey, come on, your dad is right. He has nothing but good intentions for you. Like I said, my mind is made up. Mike, if you love her, you will let her go and not let her do this. You know she can't live out here with you. Look, I hate to admit this, but your dad is right. I can't give you the life you deserve. I... Mike, I know you don't make a lot of money, but I don't need you to provide for me. I need you to trust me. I need you to trust that we can do this together. Is that too much to ask? No, it's not. Then trust me the way that I trust you. Yeah? Dad, this is what I want. It's not ideal, but it's what I want and it's what I choose. I'm sorry. That's your final decision, so be it. But I'll be here for you when this little phase of yours ends. It's not a phase. We'll see. Through hard work and dedication, Mike finally has a stable and well-paying job. He and Nancy never become wealthy or rich, but they end up finally purchasing a modest first home. Along their journey, they also end up getting married and are expecting their first child. Nancy finds herself still missing her dad and decides to invite him over. This is uh, a nice surprise. I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't think that you'd come. Believe it or not, baby, I missed you every day. Truth be told, I wish you would have reached out sooner. Yeah, I just, I didn't think I was ready. But I'm really glad to see you. I missed you too. Gorgeous place you have here, <laughs> sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> it has been a struggle, but it is nice to finally have a roof over our heads. Oh, I bet. So how you been? Stressed, I'm imagining? Yeah, stressed, but that's life. Other than that, I have been great. How about you? I've been great, other than missing you, like I mentioned before. Where's your boyfriend? You mean my husband? Husband? Yeah, yeah, um, we got married about a month ago. Um, I would have invited you, but it, it really wasn't anything special. We couldn't afford the wedding of your standards. So. I see. So I guess you're working right now? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm imagining you, uh, you work later today then. No, actually, um, my boss was kind enough to give me some time off. Really? Why is that? Well, um, maybe this will give you an idea why. I am on maternity leave. You're gonna be a grandpa. I'm gonna... You're pregnant! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Missed so many milestones in your life. No, it's, it's okay, Dad. Don't worry about it. No. No. It's not okay. You've matured so much. You fended for yourself. You got your own place, you got married, and now you're going to be a mom. Yeah. You know, you were right. It's not about money and status. It's about being happy. I missed your wedding. Who knows what else? But I'm not going to miss watching my grandson grow up. That is, if you'll 
let me back in your life. Can you ever forgive me? Dad, I already forgave you. I love you, Dad. I love you, baby. I'm so sorry. I, um, I'm, I'm making dinner for Mike tonight when he gets home from work, if, if you're up for staying that late. Of course. I want you to catch me up on everything. Yeah. I also want to get to know Mike. For real this time. I swear. I am sure he will be very happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs>